When the hero of this story, an experienced hunter, saw a huge mother bear in his yard, he immediately ran into the house to get his rifle. But in the end, the man didn't shoot the animal. Something in the predator's behavior made him refrain. Not only did the hunter put away his rifle, but he also went straight after the bear when she wandered towards the forest. The man suspected that something terrible had happened there, and he wasn't wrong. The hero of this story lived in a small village near the forest. One day, as the hunter was feeding his dog, he suddenly heard a bear's roar. These sounds were somewhere very close. The man turned around and froze in horror and surprise. Right in his yard, a mother bear was standing on her hind legs. She was roaring loudly, nonstop. Our hero had never been in such a situation before. The predator was just a few meters away from him, and he had nothing to protect himself with. The hunter immediately ran into the house for his rifle, but when he returned, he couldn't shoot the beast. The man was very knowledgeable about animals and understood that no predator would approach a human's house for no reason. Bears are intelligent animals. They know that humans have rifles and these rifles can fire. For a wild animal, visiting a human or even just getting into their field of vision is a huge danger. All this suggested that the mother bear must have had very serious reasons to decide to come right up to a human's house. The hunter didn't want to shoot. First of all, he wanted to find out what the animal needed here. But how to determine this? Even for an experienced hunter, this was a difficult task. Meanwhile, the bear was still standing on her hind legs and still roaring loudly. Now it became quite clear that she had no intention of attacking. Not knowing what to do, the hunter fired twice into the air. But nothing changed. The bear wasn't scared at all. And this puzzled the man even more. Suddenly, the bear, probably realizing that she had managed to attract the human's attention, headed towards the forest. It seemed very important for her to know that he was watching her closely. Walking towards the forest, the predator kept looking back, as if inviting the man to follow her, which he was doing anyway. The hunter's faithful dog followed the beast along with him. Now the man was sure that something serious, even terrible, had happened. That's why the mother bear had come to him. She was asking him for help. But with what? And would the man be able to do anything for her? The hunter had no answers to these questions yet. He only got some guesses when he realized that the animal was leading him to the lake. The thing is, bears often have to swim across lakes. If a mother bear has cubs, she carries them right on her back. It often happens that the little ones fall into the water and can't reach the shore on their own. They lack the strength, and the mother can no longer help them. This is exactly what our hero was thinking about. But if something like this had happened to this bear's cub, the hunter would hardly be able to do anything. After all, while the bear was going for him, a lot of time had passed. No bear cub can splash around in the water for so long. The little ones have too little strength for that. However, things were not quite like that. The problem was that this bear's cub had gotten tangled in fishing nets and couldn't get out. This is exactly the picture the hunter saw when he approached the shore. The little bear cub was already completely exhausted and weakened. First, he had swum across the lake, and then he had fallen into such a dangerous trap. It remained unknown how long he had been trying to free himself. Perhaps now every minute counted. Our hero quickly oriented himself, took out a knife, and cut the nets. After this, the little one immediately headed towards his mother. Fortunately, he had the strength for this. Most likely, the long-awaited freedom gave him this strength. The bears behaved very calmly, as if the human was their old friend. The hunter, watching the bear family leave, suddenly saw another bear in the lake's thickets, an adult one. He was closely observing what was happening on the shore. Probably, it was the cub's father. The beast apparently understood that the human had come to help his family because it was immediately clear that he had no intention of attacking or even showing any aggression. Everything that happened greatly surprised our hero, even though he was a very experienced hunter. The man, of course, knew that bears were intelligent animals but he couldn't have imagined that they were ready to do literally anything for their cubs. Not every human can demonstrate such care and such fearlessness. The hunter was very glad that this little one and his mother were completely fine. Now the cub was definitely not in any danger, and the hunter was also breathing a sigh of relief when he thought about the decision he had made when he saw the mother bear in his yard. Fortunately, he didn't shoot her, realizing in time that the predator had come to him for some very serious reason. Otherwise, she wouldn't have risked her life. And our hero made the absolutely right decision when he went after her. You could say that in this situation. Both the beast and the human risked their lives. But in the end, 
Both of them understood that they had acted absolutely correctly, 